Hey everyone, it's the True Gamers here, and welcome to a Q&A Tuesday. Hey, so today we're doing a new Q&A Tuesday. The very first one, I will do this every Tuesday, and I will answer your questions while I'm playing the game. This time, I'm playing some FIFA 14 that I got today. By the mail and thank you all for the great support in the last video about the trolling I really really love all the amazing things you guys have asked me and the great um, support I get for you guys I love it so we are playing against this uh, FC Boston team and uh, we are going to uh, answer one some questions so the first question comes from fault gizmo his question is what made you do YouTube and did it help well, that's a very, very good question there, Gizmo. So, I started YouTube in 2006, I think. Yeah, 2006, and it was a pretty cool thing to start up with. Uh, lately, in 2010, I started being more active in the YouTube community. I started uploading more um, videos. And now, I am already at 3,900 subscribers. And yeah, so it did help, actually. Um, next question. Okay, next question is from... Uh, the question is, OxyClxSX uh, asked me, What is your ambition for this time next year in YouTube? My ambition next year in YouTube is to uh, try to grow. I want to uh, reach 10k. And my ambition will be that uh, I will do a lot more um, co collaborations and things. And oh my god. And um, so, yeah, th those things, because I like to uh, communicate with my fans and so. And my ambition will be to uh, become uh, 20,000 subscribers if I have reached already the 10,000. So, yeah. Ilya! 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 Oh! <laughs> Next question. Okay, next question is from Mr. Saperson. This is a very weird question. Have you ever masturbated to a cartoon character? Um, no. I, I know you want to hear yes, but no, I didn't. Okay, next question. What Pepin asks, asks, what video are you the most proud of and what video are you the least proud of? So I can answer that very quickly. My most proud video that I have it, uh, should be the... Um, uh, I, I think it's the, um, the Call of Duty Ghosts um, top 5, you know, top 5 of the week, kills of the week. I love it actually. And yeah, so my least vi promised video was this cinnamon challenge video. For a lot of people who didn't know it, I had a cinnamon challenge video because I had 100 subscribers. And it was not a bad idea because I got bullied on school. And I, yeah, I should not have done this. So um, hopefully I will do um, something else great in the in when I reach in the milestone. But not cinnamon challenge anymore. Next question. Do you enjoy doing YouTube videos? Asked the random gamer. So, yeah, I like to do my YouTube videos. It's a uh, huge motivation to do YouTube videos because um, of all the great comments I get on the videos and it's just a lot of fun to just make videos for you guys. And it's it's, it's fun to have, uh, make a video where you, are, where, where you can expect a lot of love for it instead of uh, making a video where nobody is going to watch it. Which is another motivation and which I love actually. Oh no! 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 There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Woo! Twinkle. For more twinkle. That's a little bit excited of my Elia. Uh, yeah, I, I have ADAD. Just saying. So. Okay, so we got a new question for Izinza. Question, any tips for new YouTubers on how to hit the first 1k? Good question, Izenza. So, I'm going to answer it. So, new YouTubers have a lot of problems with getting the 1k. What you should do is you should try to submit your videos in community channels or try to really like get into the um, 
like ask YouTubers for like to check out the uh, for checking out the channel. I talk with all my followers. They always like um, always subscribe to me. I got like 30 subscribed because I'm uh, talking about followers on Twitter. You should do that as well. Uh, those are one of the tips you can also use. Uh, Go deny, bitch. From Epic Potato. And he asked us to uh, one thing. So he asked us, which game do you think is responsible for your success? So I think that will be Call of Duty, and normally it will be Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, because I was a Call of Duty channel before being this channel. You know, I was like I upload commentaries on Call of Duty, like every other gamer. But I then talked about and I played other games. So I thought. Why not make me make myself a gaming related channel? So I started making the Drew Game HD and it became a huge success. With a lot of people saying I should do English uh, voice and I am fucking losing right now. Fuck! Chat Elia. No way! No, 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 no! Fuck! I lost. Okay, now we can uh, just. So the final question is from Obion and he has like four questions for me. So. The first question is, why did you decide to start YouTube? Well, it was because I am a little bit, um, not shy. More that I want to express myself because I was an artistic guy, I had nothing to do and YouTube was like all big and such. And I want to start, uh, yeah, after that I just started with YouTube and it was a lot of fun. What was your favorite gaming game to grow up? Oh my god, that's a difficult question now. That should be, um... When I was like 5-6 years old, I played a lot of Call of Duty. I was a very, very long fan of Call of Duty. I had every Call of Duty. And yeah, it's just amazing to have... Um, yeah, just to have that game and growing up with it. Make me better in, in both physical way and physical way. And... Um, so yeah, uh, when you only had a few subs, did you get hate on your videos? Well, I did actually. I got a lot of hate. I got like 60 dislikes, 20 likes. So I was like, oh my god, you're fucking kidding me, people. Why are you doing this to me? But now it's like, somebody dislikes. I think, ah, oh, I don't fucking care. I got 20 dislikes uh, multiplied over that one. And it worked. Um, so... How did you grow your fan base on your channel? Well, I uh, did a lot of networking, communicating, interacting with my fans. And it allowed me to create a fan base. And I always like return favors and check out other people's videos. So yeah, and I will like to do that a lot more. In the future, will you have an overlay in your videos? Well, that depends on what kind of video because Overlays are mostly used when you do commentaries, but I don't know if I want to use like an overlay in my videos in the future But I hopefully hopefully I want to do it, but I don't know so Yeah, no, 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 no ah! God damn it Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do then please like this video and comment what you want to ask to me, and maybe you will be future in the next Tuesday Q&A. And uh, hope you guys have an awesome day. If you are new, then please click that subscribe button below. Can we smash this like button to three likes? That will be awesome. So hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, Q&A video. I will do a lot more. So if you want to ask me, ask it. Anyway, it was True Gamer G, and see you guys next time. Peace out.